Geek Spots in World of Tanks with Dangerously Incompetent. The DVP T50 Strike 51, Tier 10 Czechoslovakian Medium Tank. First glance, this looks very much like the Skoda T50. That looks very similar. In fact, I'd almost go so far as to say identical. Apart from it's got a machine gun on top. Hmm. All right. Hull, was, uh, oh, that looks a bit different. It's lost the pike nose, and the top half is now considerably bigger than the bottom half. And it looks like they've encapsulated the bit above the tracks. Well, I'll have to look what that looks like in the 3D model. Numbers wise, 65 on the front of the hull. Yeah, it looks just 120 on the front of the turret, and 80 on the side with the 60 on the rear. That's the same as its predecessor in tier 9. So it looks like the armour hasn't really gone up much. Mm. Wow. Tier 10s tend to be not very much different from tier 9s. We'll have to look at the 3D model to have a closer look. Yeah, that's looking very familiar. Yeah, the turret is exactly the same. You can see the machine gun isn't modelled. So if you haven't seen the previous the Skoda T50 weak spot guide, here's quick what if you have seen it you can skip ahead a little bit because it looks exactly the same on the turret. Oh sit still. Thank you. Right. On the turret, 120. There's a tiny tiny gap under that mantlet if you run around with your gun pointing in the air, so don't do that. 120, that's as flat as it gets. Oh, 100, 100. Oh, he's got a collar. Uh, right, that's a weak spot then. It's a tiny, tiny weak spot. Much better off going to the um, commander's coupler, probably. 100 millimeters on turret collar. Oh dear, that's a bit of a mess up. Of course, it gets more sleepy towards the sides. Rest of the turret, that is pretty good. Is the same as the tier 9 but pretty good, 120 sloped, more sl 100 more sloped though, and the same on the other side and then there's the roof which is thin, 30 mils, but it's super slopey so don't bother going for that unless you're slightly above in which case 30 mils and you can be overmatching to reduce the, the number of um, auto bounces, the ricochets the commander's coupler, 50 and it's perpendicular on the front, that's, that's the weak spot then Hull, 65, rake back to even more of an angle than the previous, 136 on the top, less rake back on the lower glacis, so that is weaker, if you can see that, shoot that, and this, let's have a look at this side, it is encapsulated, 65, and again it's sloped, so from the front, hide your hull, and your turret can take quite a lot, apart from the commander's coupler. Side scraping, oh that's a bit of a cheek there, I'm seeing a bit of a cheek. So if they're trying to side scrape or quarter on, that cheek is a place to hit them. If you're not confident, confident about hitting the commander's coupler. Then under the tracks it gets even worse, so if you knock the tracks off and then go into the side. But it's... it's it's quite smooth otherwise on the side and it's sloped so yeah side scraping is an option jolly good shooting it from the side you've got this protuberance here which isn't covered by the mantlet which is a weak spot but it's quite small bigger than the uh, commands coupler mind but smaller than the rear of the turret which is only 50 angled for 60, 50, 80, yeah. Hit the raw rear third of the turret if you can. If not, that protuberance there. Hull, 40 mils and barely sloped. Yeah, shoot them there if you can get the side of the hull. No, it's no th thicker than the area covered by the tracks. So don't shoot at the tracks unless you want to keep them stationary. One wants the tracks off, well that whole thing's a big target and the whole side. But what do you expect? It's a medium tank rear. 
60 mils, 50 mils, slow P, yeah, yeah, it's tough for the rear end of a turret really. Well, reasonable, pretty reasonable. Might bounce a couple of tier 6 shots, but it's not going to stop anything of tier 8 or tier 10 to tier 10. Rear, 30 mils, and it's flat. Well, it's perpendicular to, so, yeah, anywhere in the rear. If you're artillery, 20 mil hull deck, lovely, 30 mil on the roof of the tank, uh, great, so shoot it on the engine deck, no problems. All in all, pretty good. F uh, yeah, pretty good for a medium. A bit worse than it was at tier 9, because everyone's guns have gone up a little bit. But all in all, pretty good. Hide your hull. Tough front turret. Apart from the commander's coupler. So ideally, you'll hide behind a building for that side of the tank, around here. And then a bit of rubble to hide your hull and just expose your gun and that side of the turret. Armour. Well, that's a thumbs up, really.